Hey guys, I want to share something with you. My view on the cross. My view on the cross. This, These are my opinions only. I'm not saying this is scripture. I'm not saying this is revelation from God. This is my view. Why I don't wear a cross on me. Why I don't have any cross, anything. Like I didn't buy a cross and put it in my house. Um, I've seen it. And I think that people do it with a good intention. But I see it. And and I think at the time, at some point in my life, I didn't think much of it. But over time, I started to think about what this means. And there's a picture of Jesus on the cross. And, you know, you see the picture or they have some something on there or an actual statue with Jesus on a cross and the blood is running down his face and all of that and it's a reminder of his sacrifice at least when I look at it I'm like man but at the same time you know that's not Jesus on the cross this is a person that was drawn in the what someone believed is Jesus on the cross. But nevertheless, I think the message is to see the suffering. And I can see how that could be where people say this is okay. But for me personally, the cross does not represent Jesus. The cross represent a form. It's, it's basically something that was used for Roman execution. That's how I see it. The cross is like you having the electric chair up there. Let's say if Jesus died in an electric chair and you make an electric chair and just have it in your church. Let's say Jesus died from hanging. Well, you keep this noose in your church to remind us how he died that way. But the way that he died and who he is is not the same. We remember Martin Luther King and the thing that he did, but no one has thought, let me go make a rifle and make some picture. Let's remember Martin Luther King and make a picture of him and a sniper about to shoot him in the head all over again or wherever he got hit. No one wants to remember JFK in, in the way of, oh, let's remember that and we're going to make a monument and... We're going to have a picture of when the shooter shot him and where a part of his skull flew off. I mean, it's really morbid. I think for me, the cross is a tool that was used for Roman execution. And the, that tool of execution has become idolized and somehow paired with Jesus. But then I can't help but think of how terrified Jesus was of being placed on that cross. And it makes it hard for me to put him and the cross together. And you'll have to read that it's in the book of Matthew. There are different parts in it, but I remember reading it in Matthew. Um, I can't remember the scripture, but Jesus went three times. He went three times and prayed. This was where, for the first time, Jesus was so just frightened and had what I perceive as as frightened and he was so anxious about it he did not want to do this it is in Matthew chapter 26 and he was of such he asked his disciples stay up and pray you know if you think about it just imagine you're about to get killed or you know someone's about to get killed and and it's in the most horrific way and you'll be 
praying and asking people at that moment to please pray, pray that, just pray for me, right? And he goes, and Jesus goes, and he prayed three different times. I'm sorry, it's not Matthew 26. It was something else. That was um, Peter's denial of Jesus. But Jesus went, it's somewhere around here, but he went and he prayed three times. Hold on, let me find it. Actually, guys, I was right. It was Matthew 26. And so if you go down to Matthew 26 from verse 37 and to 42, you see where he was so sorrowful he did not want to do it. He was like praying to God that is there a way that this can pass from him, that he doesn't have to do it. And finally, he just accepted it. So for me, he was so terrified of going on that and going through that. I don't see why, for me, Arlene, why I would have this symbol, which for some is a reminder of the sacrifice of Jesus, but... I think I can find many other ways to remember his sacrifice by thinking of Jesus himself, by thinking of what he went through versus just thinking about that in April where people celebrate the Passover um, or Easter, as some people will say. If he becomes more and more real to us, I think of him. I think of what he went through. I think of him. I think of the trauma that his body went through because of that cross. I don't think that him, Jesus and the cross are synonymous to one another. That I would want to have that particular sign of execution in my house or wear it around my neck. Because when Jesus was in the flesh and here on this earth, the thought of it was traumatic to him. Why would I wear this thing around my neck? Which is a reminder. I don't know. Maybe, I think sometimes what happens is we don't really think of God with having feelings or that he won't mind. But just for me, I don't have those things in my house because I have God in my heart. He lives in me. And the cross, it was not just something that only Jesus was on. Thieves are on the cross. It was, if, if, if it was one of, if not the worst form of execution that the Roman soldiers would carry out to make a public example of people and they made it just that way. So the cross is has nothing to do with Jesus himself. The cross is a sign of death. It's used to punish people. It's used to make someone suffer forever. That's what it is. Now guys, I'm not telling you that you need to go and take your cross off and throw it out. I'm telling you why for me, I don't have a cross in my house. I don't wear a cross around my neck. I'm not going to have a little tiny metallic Jesus on my chain or on my cross on my neck because that's not him. That's not him. We don't know what he looks like. That is something someone put together. And I don't know about you. If someone never seen you and they said, well, I think this is what you look like. I don't think you'll like it, even if someone meant it. Okay, so you're, you're, you're of this descent and... Your hair is long. Okay, I'm going to draw a picture of what I think you look like. You see, you know it's not you, but imagine everybody just wants to believe it's you and you just go along with it because, you know, it's we, we painted this from the heart. So I think of Jesus in the most, he is God. He is the son of God, but how would he feel? That's just how I think. How would he feel about it? I'd rather focus on him. I'd rather focus and think of the wounds on his body, the pain that he must have endured and what he went through, 
but I definitely don't want to magnify the instrument that was used to bring him that torment and suffering. And so that's why I don't wear a cross and I don't keep one in my house because it does not represent life. It actually represents death. So those are my thoughts.